welcome to a new episode of Control. Let's see where we need to go. You know? Oh shoot, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay.
things had gone differently in ordinary for us. Jesus, Jesse, but you're fucking up. Wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. Something is up with the game. There's so much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's, that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six. And the sister as well, right, once we catch up with her. But the, the boy, so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. alone during his outburst. You again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Stop showing me her! I don't care anymore. I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. Fuck off, you bitch. I will dig out my brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. Subject repeated the phrase, FUCK OFF, numerous times before being sedated at 5.53. Hmm. Wait. Wait, 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 because I'm pretty sure I've got a new enemy. Oh, right. Okay, so I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll explain this. I tried to get to, to, well, to make progress. But I got so fed up with the backtracking that I tried to do a shortcut and I just deleted that footage already. So you didn't see me actually by, uh, beating this shit. So in any case, I'm gonna read it. Item must be kept in isolation, removed from other insecure objects. Under no circumstances is the item to be set in. A plastic seed shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. Jan's palm forms a seed with the fingers acting as a chair's back. The item affects gravitational forces, attracting and repelling objects near itself with a force of blank. Its fingers have also been observed to change position, though too quickly to be witnessed or filmed. So you know it's moving, dude. The item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item only displays these effects during full moons. Sample analysis confirms that it contains human genetic material. Great, a hand made of human hands. Or something else. Found in a warehouse at Blank, Albany, a team of ranger trainees accompanied by an experienced field agent were dispatched to investigate local rumors when they encountered the item. They successfully retrieved the item. See case PAI-6122 for details. Bullshit. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Okay. What? Oh, shit. Agent killed during blank involving blank blank code name P6. Autopsy findings. Blunt force injuries of the head and neck. Excess extensive trauma of the abdominal region. Lacerations and cont contusions of the upper and lower torso. Fracture of the spinal cord between the L1 and L2 vertebrae. Avulsion fracture of the 3rd through 10th ribs left and right. Blunt force injuries of, of the extremities. Abrasions, lacerations and contusions of the extremities. 
This location of left and right elbow. This location of left and right knee. Conclusion. After examination, it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the blank was contorted through his blank. Jesus, Dylan! My goodness! That's fucking creepy. Step into the empty as you do this flash to me, but you don't touch. And those three months, let's join the treasure keys. Let's join the treasure keys. I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects, like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> Gracious, man. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation at Cauldron Lake, WA, resulted in a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake. This name is familiar. Creating an AWE in which reality was altered to match that of the story, though only locally and for a limited time. Mr. Kirkland, head of investigations, was alerted on September 13, 2010, by ex bureau agent Frank Bra Breaker, C. Blank, that an AWE event was taking place in Bright Falls, WA, referred to events investigated in 1970, 1976, 1978. Breaker had received a call from Barry Wheeler. Ellen Wake's literary, literary agent on behalf of Breaker's daughter, Sarah, who is the current sheriff of Bright Falls. A bureau field team arrived at the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interviews were conducted, referred to the 1970 blank Thomas Zane, 1976-1978 Odin Anderson, Tor Anderson. Ellen Wake was believed to blank investigator. Eyewitness reports highlight of an old light switch, possible object of power that blank missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claim dived into the lake, but nobody was recovered in the search. Oh my shit. It's pretty dope that I found that. I never played the game, but I watched people play it. I open this. Ah, oh, 
did. I'm drunk. Oh, right. I went there. I can't see shit. Creepy it is. We need to find that projector. Well, honey, this is you. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with- Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? Mm. No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe? In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No, that's just stupid. Come on, that has nothing to do with this, nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there away from your parents i don't i i don't think so i don't remember maybe i don't know what in the fuck how can you not react I didn't come here by my own accord. They they brought me here somehow. Well, I got an outfit. Oh my goodness. All the times I felt paranoid. I was right. The bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. 
You gave the fucking testimony. Jesse. Oh my gosh. What is that? Is this for what? Okay. Studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. delivery what I see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog yeah like a straight-up deceased dog had a color on it and everything it'd been rotting in that box since they packed it up go ahead and imagine how that smelled so don't go whining to me I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth what the fuck is up with this an elevator a hollow sphere stone like material Vitrified soil, blank pieces of various sizes and colors. Okay, I got a gold uh, thing, a gold, a gold trophy. Burrow, ar 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 archivist, archivist, uh, archivist maybe. Animal carcass, possible canine. Rusted metal bucket, leather wallet, H shotgun cartridge, all materials to go to the investigations sector for further analysis. Like, I, 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 I. Come on. Ooh! Ah, oh, shit, hold on. Like, I really... Okay, how do I get there?
We're going back home. What? Of course we are. It started there, and it's... Never gone away. Jesse, honey. I don't understand you. Okay, okay, fuck that shit. Let's go. By the way, I got an outfit. Uh oh never mind, I can't I can't change it here. Okay. the ordinary area by rotating the Sucks, honestly. <sighs> Let's go. Control panel nearby. Control panel, okay. be a way to rotate these tracks maybe okay. there's a control panel nearby you already said that baby okay guess who just had to inspect an inbound delivery like a hundred teensy tiny little boxes me that's who and you know what was inside each one a single human tooth Fucking gross.
Hey, Jesse, come on. the chin boom red three two one go would you look at that what now bitch Jesse. Oh, look, an airplane.
This way. Yeah. slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. Dylan Faden. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. Um, Jesse Faden. I was about to say Juliet. I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil. No, likely Neil Ozenberg. Missing. He was mean. He had asthma. Me too. Tom. Note. Likely Tom Barlow. Missing. And his gang. Freddy. Note, likely Frederick Bartwell. Missing. Hugo. Note, no one by this name was found in public records. Bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. Dylan Faden. Extrapolating information. And confirmed, and confirmed existence of additional slide. Designation, house. Sorry. 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 in the town of Ordinary caused by, caused by an object of power, slide projector ID Woo P15, discovered by local children at the dump outside of town. When a specific set of slides are using a projector, the projected images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in a disappearance of the town's adult population. Event response. On August 30th... 30th? 30? Okay, whatever. On August 30th, 2022, 20, oh, on August 30, 2002, siblings Dylan Faden, 10, year old, 10 years old, CP6 materials, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, CP6 materials, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector. See UUP15, case file and darling presentations, blank for details. Like, Jesus, man, their parents really wasted no time. Like, you just have a baby, let's just pop out another? What the fuck? A team led by Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived at the site on September 14th. Like, they were in a hurry or what? The AWE had ended, but the team found the Faden children who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned with the exception of one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. The interviews, blank and prime candidate program files, blank. So, because she's older... Ah! There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered, 
world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. <laughs> Jesse and me followed the dung monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. More of the kids from town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dung monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us. But Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog, like a melted dog, but I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. Dylan Faden. The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. Jessie said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. Additional slide. Designation hand. Is verified in a bureau possession. And confirm the existence of paranatural entity. Designation dog Neil. Huh. So, Polaris was a hand slide. Did you send the bitch? 
Bitch, because you keep staring at me? Where is Cosmo? Security, get a team in here. I need you. Holy shit. After what happened at school to Miss Chester, we started spying on Tom and saw where they took the projector. Tom and his troglodytes were using the Sled Hill Cave as their headquarters. That's where the projector was. They didn't be using the temple slide, we called it that, but really was a broken concrete thing. Like a warehouse or a bomb shelter or something. Very dark. The not mother lived there with her babies, children, I don't know. She was feeding Tom and the others her milk. They were charging into little mon they were changing, sorry. They were changing into little monsters. We call them dung monkeys. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation temple. Unconfirmed existence of a natural entity designation not mother. Okay. And with that I am gonna stop the episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Oh my god, the story on this is really, really, really good, in my opinion. But the game is incredibly unpolished, but uh, I'll explain on that when I'm done with it. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.